Happy birthday, Oasis! I can't believe it's been two years. Two years of God's faithfulness. It's crazy to think on our two year birthday, to think back over the last 24 months. Yes. Even behind that, I remember our first gathering at our old house mm -hmm. uh, in the fall of 2018, yes. a year before we launched. We just tossed it out to a few people to yes. talk about Oasis Church. I think there was uh, 12 people there. Do you remember that yeah, day? Yeah, and we felt like it was this huge deal. We had like our packets, our pamphlets. Oh, yeah. We're sitting down on the couch like, oh my gosh, people are actually showing up <laughs> and are here in our home. Yeah. We're about to do this. Yeah, it was 12 people in our living room. We had a little slide on the TV, I remember. Yeah, and then it felt so official. We were getting ready to head into 2019, which was the year of launch. Mm -hmm. And we were like, we gotta get to know people. Yes. People gotta hear about the church. We gotta meet some people in the community. So we put together a bunch of startup parties. Mm -hmm. We did one at Lewis Ginter. And then the hotel, that was actually our second one. Yeah, that was our worst one. Do you remember that? That was, um, that was pretty rough because I think our first startup party was like huge. And then we were like so excited for our next party. And it was the first really nice day and nobody yeah, it was came. Like, it, was like the first, it was the first weekend of the spring in April and it was like finally not cold. We were like, okay. And we're like, everybody's like, we're going outside and we're going riding bikes. And we're like, come to the startup party. Yeah, so people would be like coming in the hotel. We're like, we're so glad you came to our Oasis startup party. They're like, what's Oasis? <laughs> the cool thing about it was is at that point, we were starting to build our team and no one really knew each other. And so yeah. even though nobody came, our team was growing in the sense yeah. of in relationship with each other and learning to uh, rub shoulders with each other. And yeah. so that was a huge win of our team connecting in a way that they hadn't yet before. Yeah, and I remember a staple of that season was Saturday morning prayer. Yeah. Saturday wow. prayer. So we would gather at our house I don't remember what time it was, maybe from like nine to 10 or something nine like that. Nine to 10. Mm -hmm. We would gather at our house and anybody that was interested at all just came over. We literally packed the house out. Yeah. People were like around the corner by the bathroom. I like was putting together breakfast for everyone. We had that huge coffee pot. There was like 30 people on the ground, our, whatever our, chair. Our kids ministry was like yes. the guest bedroom upstairs. Mm -hmm. We're like, y'all go upstairs. I, th I think we like hired people to watch them. I don't even remember what we did. Yeah, we kind of we kind of did that. We so. had like 32 kids and one <laughs> small guest bedroom. We're like, there's toys and here's the foam thing. Like, But that was a foundation for our church because we established a culture of prayer and community yes. on those Saturday mornings. And the house just got really crazy really quick. I remember even we started to get all of our equipment in our house and it was mm -hmm. like our garage was full of portable church equipment. I mean like ground to ceiling. It's not like here's a couple things here and there. It was our entire garage, our entire downstairs, every room basically upstairs. I mean filled with church stuff because we were portable and we were still gathering things that we hadn't yeah. had the grand opening. So God just built the team yes. between the spring and the, and the summer of 2019. There have been people that we did not really know, but for the past six months of building yeah. relationship, people that we didn't know, they were strangers. Now we're becoming friends, now we're becoming family. And we had done everything, got everything ready. Grand opening was the next day. We're going to Chewy's. And I remember everyone's like, oh, like I'll get the queso, I'll get the chips, the quesadilla. Everybody's like having so much everyone's fun. having so much fun. And we're just looking at each other and we're like, <clears throat> We're like, okay. I, feel sick. I, I, I literally feel <laughs> sick and um, we're so scared about the next day. I can barely breathe, much less like yeah. have some chips and salsa. Yeah. But it was so, it was fun. Yeah. And then we woke up the next day yeah. and we were ready. Yeah, we were ready. We had no idea if anybody was going to show up. Yeah. If anybody and who they were. And I remember that first day was amazing. We just it was. saw God move. It was kind of like, wow, look what, look what God is 
now birthed yeah. here. And the high school was full of energy. Mm -hmm. Our team served their hearts out and people showed up and people mm -hmm. worshiped and people gave their life to Christ and people were now becoming friends with people they hadn't met before. And yeah, it was like was all powerful. of a sudden we just really saw our vision come into play of like, oh wow, look at people are seeing Jesus more clearly through the community, through the mm -hmm. worship, through the word, through serving. And uh, it was just incredible to see. I just remember that feeling of this really is the beginning. And then we had water baptism shortly after. Yeah. We had like 22 people. It was people, I mean, it was literally people coming and knowing nothing about God, not knowing anything about who Jesus is, and really from death to life. And I just remember the line of people who were getting water baptized and it was pouring down rain. And it was like just in time for water baptisms and like the rain stopped. And uh, it was just a party. Didn't it was a party. Anyway. I they know were they were getting, getting wet, wet anyway. but it was just, yeah, that was really, yeah, really it was, powerful. It was a celebration of people taking a stand for Jesus. And, and really, it was something you could look at and be like, this is why we do what we do right yes. here. Yes. This, mm -hmm. is, this is why. It's for people. It's for life change. It's to see God move and transform hearts. And yeah. so from, from that Sunday, I just remember it was like, here we go. This, mm -hmm. is, this is it. This is why we do what we do. A few months later, this thing happened in March of 2020. Yes. This pandemic. Uh -huh. You may have heard of it before. Yeah. <laughs> you have any March, ideas? <laughs> March 8th. I remember March 8th was our last Sunday at the high school, mm -hmm. and I preached a message called Hurry Up and Wait. Yeah. And we weren't even thinking about, like, the word COVID wasn't even on our mind that Sunday. And the next thing we knew, it was like we were not able to meet. The school was... And so we quickly had to pivot to online ministry. And I remember that first, we didn't make the decision that first Sunday till it, Saturday afternoon. Saturday night when we realized, okay, like things are changing, things are shifting, and it's yeah. like, okay, um, let's pull out our phone and film this 10 minute video. Yeah. At our kitchen table. And yeah, it was like, just let's saying, just okay, throw let's up do this. Cause it's only, you know, we're only going to have to do this for, you know, two weeks, you know? Yeah. Two, <laughs> it's funny now to look back at like the emails we sent out. We're like two weeks to flatten the curve. See everybody in a few weeks. Yeah. See y'all in just a little <laughs> bit. It's like, what a joke. So, um, I remember our online season, once we realized it was going to be a season and not just a one-time video, we filmed everywhere from our house in our kitchen to our living yeah. room, like you're like rearranging our living room furniture uh -huh. to like have a little church service in there. I remember the worship team went to Katie's dad's garage. Yeah. And like filmed a worship There's set. There's like antlers in the <laughs> background. I'm like, well, that's great. We're like, that's... as the deer pants for the water, is like deer antlers. <laughs> Stop. So oh there's like God. toolboxes. So and every week equipment. it was kind of like, I wonder where they'll be next. Oh my gosh, it was so dumb. And then the restaurant too. Yeah, yeah. Um, we had we had somebody open up. I mean, they the lobby a, was the size of this couch. Yeah, they had a restaurant that was under construction, and there was a brick wall in the lobby. We're like, so that's they let a us great wall to film. Yeah, they let us film right in front of the brick that was wall. So sweet. And it was it was really cool. And uh, the Times Dispatch was like doing an article. I remember on churches and COVID, and they they picked us to like put us on the front page and they put us on the front page in front of the brick wall at the chicken wing spot for uh -huh. our church online. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh. This Jesus is, and chicken wings. This is madness. Yeah. So we filmed there. Uh, we went hiking through the mountains for uh -huh. a few weeks. Uh, Jacob and Andrew and Ryan, the whole crew, we all like went on a, a hike through the mountains and filmed messages. Wherever we could find a spot really because there were so many churches that were doing the same thing. Like everyone that didn't have a space yeah was trying to find a space yeah. so and everything was changing constantly yeah. so it would be on the fly okay yeah. we can do it here yeah and and the whole time ministry is taking place so yeah regardless of where we are regardless of where we're going ministry is taking place yeah uh, our, our team serves so well they put together kits for mm -hmm. first responders we were i mean they were just rolling up their sleeves and getting out and helping people, the schools, the schools, the, the food, food drives. And uh, the ministry never stopped. It just looked differently yeah. in each we were, season. We were truly living out our, our values of serving in community mm -hmm. and faith in a season that was so 
unknown and God was building his church and the message was getting out and, yes. and people were really seeing Jesus even in that mm -hmm. season and the whole time we're trying to find a building while we're doing this. September of 2020 we were able to get the spot that we're sitting in right now. Yeah, And but I, it didn't look like this. Oh God, no. It just <laughs> <laughs> a total story of God's faithfulness. We we found <laughs> not look we found like another this. space that was open, <laughs> and we called the agent and we're like, hey, can we check out the space here? So we are here's what we're looking for. Uh -huh. You know, God is with us, so help us out. You know, like kind of thing. Yeah. And she's like, hey, actually, I've got another space. It's not on the market yet because it hasn't been posted. But the tenant in it, because of COVID, has defaulted on their lease. So it's open. We need to fill it. It would be a good size for what you guys are looking for. Yeah. So I remember we came over here and looked at it. We brought our leaders over here. Yes. We walked around outside and prayed over it mm -hmm. and we're like I think this could be it so uh -huh. God ended up just miraculously opening the door for us to get it and but we knew we had to do a lot of work to it we had just heard like two weeks to flatten the curve and turned into forever and then it was like <laughs> last fall it was like six weeks to be construct to be done with construction and it turned into like six months which is yes crazy. but our our church and our team was Phenomenal. I mean, they showed up, they busted drywall. People oh, yeah. would work all day, come here all night, and serve their heart out. Like quite literal blood, sweat, and tears. Yes. Going Someone into got this hurt place. too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you for the Lord for healing. Thank you, Jesus. People said, What kind of workers' comp do you have? I said, Prayer. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Prayer. So, uh, while we were doing that, I remember we shifted church online to here. Uh -huh. We're like preaching and doing worship sets from like ladders and scaffolding. Yes. And and it was like, we, we coated these walls with prayer and scripture. I remember yes. we had a few nights of prayer in here where we just invited our church to come in and write God's promises in the old wallpaper mm -hmm. of the auditorium. Just believing God to do miraculous things yeah. as we prepared to get in this space. And to be a church a year old at the time and to be able to tackle the project like we did is a complete story of God's faithfulness. Yes. Complete wow. story of God's provision and really testament to God's people mm -hmm. for their generosity and for their service and for them doing whatever it took to see the And their faith forward. of like, yeah. faith is our lens. And so I don't know what tomorrow holds. I don't know what this next week holds. I don't know, but I do know that I need to be in God's house. I do know that I need to build God's house. I know I need community. And so I'm going to fight for the local church. I'm going to yeah. fight to be a part. Yeah. I'm going to fight to to do this together. And it was really so much um, faith that we were seeing um, as we saw the miracles play out, people got a front row seat to God's miracles because they were stepping out in faith and yes. doing really what some people just weren't doing. They, they jumped right in. And so they got to experience that firsthand. They're willing to do what a lot of people weren't. Yeah. And I look over the last 24 months of our church, and I look what God has done. And it's, it's because of God's faithfulness and because of the serving and generosity and faith, like you're talking about, of God's people. And I look back and I say, wow, look what God has done with what we've put our faith to in the yes. last 24 months. Like such a short amount of time. Look at what God has done. Look at the friendships that have happened. Look at the lives that have been changed. In two years of complete chaos, God has had his hand on our church. He is yeah. building the church and we're walking this out yeah. in community yeah. with our church family. And, um, and really connecting with the community, how much more um, is God gonna, we, gonna do? We really have the feeling like we're just getting started. Just getting like started. Like this thing is just getting going. Mm -hmm. We're only the tip of the iceberg of what God wants to do. Mm -hmm. And so I look at our church now and I look at our church family and I'm, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's help people see Jesus more clearly yes. in our city across the nation around the world in this season. Let's live out faith as our lens greater than ever before. Let's serve like never before. Yes. Let's see what God wants to do in this next season because I really believe we're just getting started. Yes. Let's do it. Happy two years, Oasis Church. We love you.